the silver mark of freedom his spirit was born Thara they named him Thara like the wind like the wind that is free Thara they named him Thara to be king of the bush his destiny in the secret mountain veins through the mist and ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly silent as the breeze Thara they named him Thara he's the son of the wind strong and free Thara they named him Thara and the king yes the king The country brought freedom and a new life for Golden after Thara helped her escape from the man. It meant many changes, new friends to meet, new habits to adopt, new skills to learn. And while she was a willing learner, she was also excited by this new world of hidden valleys and towering mountains and was easily distracted from her lessons. Golden, look where you are. Oh, sorry, Boon Boon. You should be apologising to yourself. Look at the tracks you've left. Oh, I see what you mean. I must have wandered off the grass. Oh, it's just so wonderful up here and there's so much to see. I wasn't thinking. In the wild, you have to think all the time, Golden. Leave a track and the men can find you and you'll be back where you started, captured. I'm going to get Golden back, Echo, if it's the last thing I do. Well, you can relax now, Golden. A creek's always a good trick to throw anyone who's following you. The water hides all trace of your tracks and your scent gets lost and confused. Yes, I'll remember that, Boon Boon. Thank you. Now, enough lessons for today. My head's spinning. Let's just enjoy the cool water. Well, OK. But there's still a lot you have to learn. You're very patient with me. But it all seems so unnecessary, really. I feel so safe up here with you and Thara and all my new friends. I can't see how any man could find us, unless we wanted him to. Well, it's not just the men we have to hide from. Older stallions are always looking for mares for their herds. With your coat, you'll stand out more than I will. And your colouring will make you quite a prize for anyone who's prepared to stand up to Thara. More Brumbies! Oh, let's go down and meet your friends. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Aranda and I don't get on very well. Oh. Look, down there. That foal's terrified. Shouldn't we do something? I can't. I was once bitten by a snake. I'm too frightened. Don't worry. 
It's gone now. You were very brave. Now, let's get you back to your mother. Thank you. I didn't know what to do. I've never met a snake before. I... Oh, I've come across quite enough when I was herding cattle for my owner. You look just like Thaura. Do I? He saved me once before. He was very brave. It was in the river, and I... Are you Thaura's sister? Oh, no. No, I'm not. He saved me once, too. So, we've got something in common. Do you know my father, the Broga? No. He doesn't like Thaura, but I'm not sure why. One day... Oh, uh, just returning a wayward foal. He's just met his first snake. Oh, thanks, stranger. He's always getting into mischief, this one. Where's your herd? I, I'm i by myself at the moment, looking for new pastures. Good luck. Don't let us keep you. I hope you don't run into more foals needing rescuing. Thanks again. <laughs> I must say, she's very good at that. Whatever it is. Mm, rescuing foals from snakes. Rescuing foals from snakes, that's it. And returning them to their mothers. Mm, good at returning. She's very good at returning. Why didn't Boon Boon go down to the rescue? Instead of letting the new horse. Mm, instead of letting the new horse, indeed. A vexed question, new. Vexed indeed, I've no idea, do you? What was her name again? Or maybe she didn't want to meet Aranda. Or the Broga. Mm, ah, there he is. Well done, E. Right as usual. <laughs> oh, no, Golden, don't stop. If my father sees you alone, he'll capture you for his herd. Golden! Get out of here, quick. My father hasn't seen you yet. I'll find you later. Hide! <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, sire, sire, that new young... Not now, Currawong. I'm in no mood for your idle gossip. But, but oh, holy horsefulness, I implore. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I thought I recognized the sound of your voice. Well, you did. Well, it's quite distinctive. And loud. <laughs> and loud. <laughs> I think every creature in the high country would have heard it and recognized it. So, how goes my free spirit? It's a long time since we last spoke. It is. But you have your herd and your duty, and I have my freedom and independence. Uh... Sometimes the high country is just too big. More's the pity. It's so good to see you. Oh, very touching. <laughs> oh, 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 that was close. Where did that golden filly get to? Mopok, Mopok. Oh. Don't be frightened, don't be scared. I'm a friend, I'm here, I cared. Oh, Mopok, you startled me, that's all. This is not a place to hide. Come with me to the other side. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Over here, you'll be safe and sound in this grotto beneath the ground. Oh, thanks, Mopoke. You're a real friend.
Watch out below, cannot see. You're in for a fright. You'll cop all of me. <laughs> <laughs> Miserable overstuff, pompous pin culture. <laughs> Watch that bird, I tell you why. The nasty creature is the Bronger's spy. Oh, thanks for the warning, Mopok. And thanks for looking after me. You're a very nice bird. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nothing really. <laughs> Enough, enough. Do that later. The spy will be back, the danger greater. Oh, you're right, Mopoke. we better get back to Thaura and the others. Yes, yes, be on your way. Hasten home and do not stray. Oh, oh, I'm really sorry, Boon Boon. When I heard the Brogga roar, I just froze. Hmm, it does have that sort of effect. But you sure had me frightened there. The best way to get over it is to do something else, straight away. Take your mind off it. Let's head up to the high plains where we can be alone. Yeah. Uh, uh, what about Arrow? He's off by himself again. Well, we're just going for a long gallop. He'll find us when we get back. Come on. going. She looks lost to me. I knew she'd never make a go of it in the high country. Well, this just might be my chance. Show her I care more about her than Thaura does. Help her find her way back. Yes! Good one, Arrow. <laughs> Another ridge, another view. Something different every time. Mm, there always is, isn't there? It's quite uncanny. Or quite canny, depending on how you look at it. Mm, indeed. When you look at it, what's different about this one? Thaura and his friends way off, Golden way off in the opposite direction, and Arrow way off behind. Mm, Arrow? What's he up to? Beats me. We could ask him. Too far. Let's guess. It's more fun. I wonder, what's he after? Ah, there's the answer. But what's the question? It doesn't matter. Brave Arrow... Brave and clever Arrow. Brave and clever Arrow is going to stop Golden being captured by the man. That is the answer indeed. Now, let's decide on the question. Oh, not a sign of them anywhere. Perhaps... Perhaps they went in there. Hey, where's Golden? Oh, I, I thought she was just behind us. Oh, I didn't look back to check. Oh, neither did I. Some friends we turned out to be. Uh-huh. Perfect. A nice spot for a little chat, that forest. And a nice surprise. Oh. Mopoke, Mopoke. What? Oh, Mopoke, 
You're really quite a guardian angel. You won't find the way they went. They've not been here. There is no scent. I know, Mopoke. Thanks. I really shouldn't have to rely on just a Mopoke. Just a Mopoke? That can't be. I'm the smartest Mopoke you'll ever see. But I'm lost, Mopoke. Where should I start to look? Oh, it's all right. Thou has found me. Wait a minute. Oh, oh it's not Thou. He moves so silently, we'd never hear him. Maybe it's another stallion. Oh, oh, I should have listened to Boon Boon more carefully. Oh, help! 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 Golden! He certainly is. Quite a hurry. You're always in a hurry when there's a rescue to be made. Another vexed question. Perhaps we should tell Golden she's about to be saved. Mm, perhaps we should. We would tell her now. Well, we could, but we might be a bit late. Quite. One thing's puzzling me, New. If we were following Arrow, how come we got here before him? We must have followed him very fast. We must. Right again. I'm here, Golden. I've come to rescue you from... from... From what? What am I saving you from? Oh, from a fierce and gruesome stallion who was following me. Fierce and gruesome, eh? That was me. I was following you. You? Oh, no. Oh, look out! Huh? <laughs> it's rather odd for me to fight, but if the cause is just, I guess it's all right. <laughs> now, Golden, my beauty, you're mine again! Arrow! Where's Golden? Two for the price of one. Looking for a fight, you cunning young rascal? Well, you'll get one. Come on, Golden. Let's get out of here. But, but Thara... Thara will be all right. Come on! <laughs> a noble sacrifice. Must have been the gallop up the ram's head. <laughs> faster than usual. Definitely faster. Or Thara slower. That could be it. What if the man catches Thara? That'll never do. Never. <gasps> panic, panic! Panic! panic everyone, everyone panic! panic. <gasps> Time I'll get you. Look, they're doubling back. Thara might be slowing, but he still has his wits about him. But if the man catches him, Thara will be beaten. He must be exhausted. Well, we can't let that happen. I've got an idea. Ha-ha! 
are now at last! Oh no! Stupid today. I've done everything wrong. Whatever you taught me went clear out of my head. Oh, don't worry about it. It takes time. Well, we'd better have some more lessons tomorrow. That sounds like a good idea. Thara! Thanks, Thara. And thanks for everything. I, I promise I won't be any more trouble to you all. Friends? Friends. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey! What's the matter? Come back! I can't help it if she didn't follow me! Guys! Guys! Come back! <sighs> oh, Arrow, Arrow, feeling neglected. That's what you get for having defected. <laughs> <laughs> So Golden finally saw the wisdom of the ways of the Brumbies and rejoiced in the beauty and freedom of the high country. It's a pity all humans could not do the same. Soon the high country would again be under threat from man and his machines. <laughs> Nature has a way with her. Things that might at first glance seem twisted or gnarled have their own beauty and their own uses. But man, who professes to love beauty, loves convenience more. The time had come when man wanted a more convenient way of getting to the high country. And if that meant spoiling some of its beauty, then so be it. But it was a while before the mountain creatures realized what was happening. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> 
Where? Where? That's what I'd like to know. Where? <laughs> Beep! Why are you empty-headed, Egghead? Not a cloud. It can't be rain. It doesn't smell like rain, but it sounds kind of like thunder. Very strange. Mm -hmm. Ow! And that'd be right. That'd be right. Deliberately standing there silent, just where you know I want to go. We were talking, Wombat. What's that? Walking? You weren't walking. You were standing still. Now, where's my son? Your son? I'm sure I don't know. Yeah, that'd be right. Yeah, yeah, that'd be right. Any trouble, any problem in the high country, straight to Wombat. Get him to help. Upset his day. Disturb his routine. But as soon as Wombat needs help, no one can be bothered. Just a minute, Wombat. That's not true. Anyway, how are we supposed to know you've got problems? How yeah, well, you're supposed to know? How were you supposed to... I just said me son's moving! You deaf! I've got to find him. I'm, 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 I'm very worried. Of course we'll help. Now, where did you last see him? Oh, typical. Typical. Always questions. No action. I might as well just keep looking by myself for all the, all the help I get. You can't win with Wombat. He's all right. Yeah, old Wombat's all right. Nothing wrong with war. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, he does like having something to complain about. <laughs> yes, and Wombat's got a tough hide, so he'll be okay. Let's see if we can find baby Wombat. <laughs> oh, typical, typical. <gasps> Mopoke. Mopoke. Oh, hi, Mopoke. Good morning, Mopoke. Still up? It is time for the world to rise and shine. Anything else would be a waste of time. You haven't seen Baby Wombat anywhere, have you? His father's out searching for him. If it's a clue you're after, I may be some help. Just keep your ears open for the sound of a yelp. Sound of a yelp? That's not much of a clue, Mopoke. <laughs> huh? While not all creatures are as smart as a grey kangaroo, Mopokes are known to be pretty smart too. He's Thara, I'm Benny. Time for you to go home, baby wombat. Your father's looking for you. He's very worried. Well, whatever you say, Thara. I, I, I was just having a game with my friends here That's and... That's all right. Games with friends are important, but not worrying your father is more important right now. Off you go. Yes, yes, off I go. Oh, whoops! <laughs> typical, typical. Yes? Oh, oh, nothing. Typical of me to uh, run into something. That something was me. Your home is back that way. Yes, that's where I want to go. Thank you, Thara. Oh, bye, Dingoes. <laughs> Thanks for the game. Bye, Wombat. Come and play again soon. Hello, Benny, Thara. What are you... Looking after wayward children, I think. Very wise. Ever since the men started building that track, what track? It is said to be near the Prospector's Creek. Six horses wide, <laughs> so to speak. I don't believe it. Why would they do that? It's true enough. Haven't you heard the noise? A big metal monster they have, grunting and rumbling and growling. 
So that's what the noise was. It's a great danger to all the high country creatures, especially the little ones. That's why I'm trying to keep a close eye on my two. <laughs> oh, so that'd be right. Always something in the way. Well, that'd be right. Oh, kookaburras, kookaburras, tend to laugh till they drop. But if you ask me, they have the brains of a mop. Mopoke, Mopoke, you're so fond of yourself, but to me you're just a stuffed bookend on a shelf. <laughs> oh, I'm a poet and at least I know it. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this, Thara. No good's ever come of man and his monsters in the high country. Well, that's why we're on our way to see it for ourselves, isn't it? Seeing is one thing. Doing something about it is quite another. Listen. The thunder's stopped. Not another one. <clears throat> rubbish, rubbish and more rubbish. That's all I ever find in this creek. I'm sick to death of picking up after that stupid road gang. Not a brain among them. He seems very angry. Who can blame him? The last thing we need is the stream choked with a load of man's leftover junk. <coughs> You're a long way from home, Whipbird. <coughs> no, I'm not. I haven't got a home anymore. Got to find a new one. It's the monster. I think we'd better find this monster double quick. <laughs> This is just awful, Benny. How could they do this? It's going to get worse, Thara. Our mountain kingdom is shrinking. This big path will bring more and more men. Mopoke, Mopoke, shed a tear. If they must have a road, why put it here? Why come anywhere near the high country? What do they want? At least the mountains and the ram's head and the sentinel are safe. It's easy here on the river flats, but the rugged mountains will beat their monsters. We'll always have somewhere to live. Don't be too sure, don't be too certain. This road could be our final curtain. <sighs> Just look at this lot. Mankind's legacy to the high country. <laughs> Oh no! There it goes! More noise and smoke! It's enough to make any bird choke! <laughs> What's this? Oh, horror of horrors! abandoned in that tree. Their fate has been left all up to me. Ah. Ah. That's a relief. Scrambled eggs were not to be, but it's a shame about that lovely old tree. Mopo, Mopo, thank you for saving my eggs. I no longer think you're just the dregs. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad to help you. And I'm inclined to think you're not so bad, too. <laughs> oh, sire! Sire! Ah. What's the panic, Karawang? Oh, mighty Brolga! It breathes fire and smoke and rumbles and roars. What are you talking about, Karawong? Calm down. It's yellow, makes grinding noises, devours trees and belches toxic fumes. All right, Karawong. What's the prize? Prize, oh worshipful wonder horse? For guessing the answer to the riddle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you understand, mighty Brolga. 
The men creatures have invaded with the monster that is consuming the high country at a rate of one large lake per second. What? That's what I've been trying to tell you, sire. The smoke and the noise, all from this hideous beast. Get going, Karawang. Lead the way. Yes, sir. We'll show them, almighty master. They can't invade the king of the Brumbies' country and get away with it. <laughs> Thunder! Rain! Rotain upset! Disaster! <laughs> Disaster! It is, sire. What did I tell you? So, they think they can turn the high country into a barren waste, do they? Swamped? What happened? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Nobody cares what happens to poor old Wombat. But at least we got out. All together again. Safe and sound. Uh, Wombat? Not quite together. Hey, What do you mean? Your son. He's not here. Hey, Well, he's always there. At the, at the end of the line. What? Where is he? Where? Where? Mopoke. Mopoke. Why? That missing son of yours is quite a scamp. When last seen, he was hanging round the monster's camp. Is he old enough to think about hiding from it? Old enough? He's old enough to eat. That's all he thinks about. It's to be hoped that he's come to no harm. We'll come back with you. Something's different. It's the quiet. I can't hear the stream. It's usually very noisy around here. I told you I got a wet head. Something's happened to the stream. Hmm. Very strange. Animals can't even get a drink as well.
Just returning what rightfully belongs to you. Huh? Hey! Get rid of them properly next time, or take them with you. Hey! Cut it out, old man. You made your point. I'll cut it out when you give me back my water supply. Damned idiots. I bet you're responsible for our water supply drying up. I can't think what you've done to the homes of the animals and birds. I think the old prospector must be giving them a piece of his mind. <laughs> Good job, too. I just wish I could start up that monster of theirs and push them right back out of the high country. Even that, unfortunately, wouldn't repair the damage that's already been done. That's right. Some of those trees they've knocked over have been there for hundreds of years. That's the way, mighty monster masher. You cool off after teaching those intruders a much-needed lesson. I'm sure I saw a slight dent in the front of that thing. Oh, such bravery. What a charge. I haven't seen anything like that since Thaura jumped the ravine with a man in tow. Uh, what? Oh, no, no, no offence intended, sire. Of course. I didn't notice that puny weakling charging the monster. Only the great Brolga would have decided to charge head-on into an unstoppable metallic clanking contraption that no one could hope to halt. <laughs> Just as I thought. Did it occur to you that you might need water too? And what about the animals? Blockheads. Some engineer you are. OK, OK. We'll get the dozer down there and clear it. Take her away, Frank! Now, the next thing is, where's that son of yours, Wombat? Oh, my son! Oh, something's happening. I can sense danger. Above the din. Benny, do something quick. There's nothing I can do to help. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hurry, somebody do something. Hey, look at this. Bad room. Huh? What's going on, old fellow? What's up? Oh, no. A baby wombat. Stop! Stop! Thing. Yeah, saved in the nick of time. But how many weren't saved and how many animals have lost their homes? Yeah, I guess we hadn't given it much thought. Build your road if you must, but remember, the bush is their home and you are the visitors. Rheumatism. It is a shame, Wombat. But at least baby Wombat is safe. And that is the main thing. Yes, you're right. And, um, I'd uh, 
like to thank you and Benny for your help. It was a pleasure, Wombat. Any time. There are many ways man can be a danger to the creatures of the high country. It wouldn't be long before they brought the fear and destruction of a bushfire. <laughs>